Hello and welcome to episode 3 of My Gold Guide. Now, this mission is one of the few that you kind of have to skate by on, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I must admit this is a hard mission for sure and requires really skilled micro and just luck. I'm gonna say it, guys. It requires some luck. Uh, it's at the beginning, so you shouldn't be that frustrated, I guess, and or, you know, only have to save once. And I didn't even save it all here just because, I don't know, this is one of the shorter missions as well. Yep, it is not easy and you just about have to skate by. Okay, so even though this is a mandatory objective, there are still some things to be said here. During the first part of the mission where you have the Grizzlies, they're fighting their way through all those enemies, so really the only luck-based thing in this mission is getting the Grizzlies past that first just roadblock of Covenant. And once you do that, it's rather smooth sailing. You know, I don't want to say completely smooth, but it's way easier than that first fight your way to Forge and Andrew's location. I mean, I know that entails more than just the First part. That is the hardest part of this mission by far. With this objective, for whatever reason, during this particular playthrough, the covenant that normally come through the doors to the left of my camera angle overwhelmed the, the ODSTs, and I lost all the ODSTs, I think. So that was not a expected thing at all. Yeah, basically, during all the other playthroughs, it did not happen like that, and I will explain it, and you'll see it. Yeah, that was quite interesting, to say the least. Yeah, you, you should not have the problem with that. I do here, but if you do, you'll know better how to deal with it. So basically, you should be fine with both of the Grizzlies by Anders, and you should not need a Grizzly to the left, like I apparently did. Yeah, even without a Grizzly to the left, you can get gold, as I do here. In fact, that's probably why I skated by now that I'm thinking about it, just because all that wasted combat bonus went down the drain. Not much to say here other than it's got to be done to complete the mission, and sometimes they might die. I'm not sure if that counts towards combat bonus or not, but I would lean on the side of caution and say yes. Basically just try to keep them from dying and heal. Oh wait, you don't have heal. Damn. Basically just keep them from dying and just let the Grizzlies cover them. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have too much trouble with this. Also, keep them by the objective, in fact very close to the objective, both of them too, until all of the hunters are killed and you can just race back to that objective with just Forge and Anders. You know, it doesn't matter if the Grizzlies get back or not because they're Grizzlies and they can defend themselves, I guess. Yeah, just get them back to the objective as soon as possible and you have them by the objective. So they just want to stay on their side of the bridge. Yeah, that's their base, and it belongs to them, apparently. <laughs> they really don't want to go over to your side, so you have to send someone something, say, forge a grizzly over right quick, and then just, just send them right back, recall them, like, fish for them. Just think about it as sending over, like, a fishing line. I'm not even kidding, you guys. Just uh, fish them across, lure them out, and then deactivate that bridge, and reactivate it right after that, and go across it, and haul ass. Because you really need to do this as as soon as possible and if you don't get this done within I don't know one or two tries then you really should start over or revert to your last save yeah probably saving before this would be a good idea kill 45 hunters you've got to it's not that hard they come out with everything else which is a real pain but hunters do do the most damage to vehicles except the other vehicles possibly even then really all the hunters come out with are other infantry units so you shouldn't have too tough a time killing all of them you can have anders with the grizzlies until it gets up to like 40 hunters or 35 hunters and then recall her to the landing zone and recall her all the way to the landing zone and put Forge in it too because you need as fast a time bonus as you can achieve and that's the way to do that. Yeah, you can have Anders with the Grizzlies until it gets to around 35 hunters killed and then recall her because you've just got to finish the mission as quick as you can. Alright everyone. Yep. Sergeant, Alpha Base won't be able to respond. Wow, where are those towers? We've got Grizzlies inbound from Spirit of Fire. Hold on down there. Okay, so Spirit of Fire. Wait, 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 wait. Alpha Base won't be able to respond in time. Alpha Base is like less than a mile away. Are you kidding me? Like Spirit of Fire is all the way out in orbit. And Alpha Base is just way just over there. Just chilling, hanging out. And they can't respond. I guess they're just busy doing other shit. Like, fuck. 
Anyways. Okay, so first, this is a very particular micro. First you have to destroy that turret, and then with one Alright, with one canister destroy that turret, with the other canister kill the infantry blocking them from advancing, and then you can get him over there. Now just make sure you don't spend too much time over here, but basically take the grizzly with more health and put him uh, just let him take all the fire and then with the lesser health grizzly just uh, follow suit and you should be good to go past this point now this point is the hardest to get to Ooh, by the way watch out for that like do not like be around for those explosions because those explosions wreck vehicles like they wreck everything really and they're they're deceptive because like you don't see them anywhere else Ooh, see all that damage that did Damn. So yeah, just don't be around for that. Uh, yeah, just just avoid that as much as possible. Um, yeah. Besides, they blew up the control panel, but it didn't do anything this time. And after, you know, when you like the other time, it does do something. I don't understand that much either, but you know, whatever. Oh, by the way, notice the other grizzly barely has any health. That's all right, as long as it does have health. As long as it's not like just black. It's fine. Um, you just have to be careful. Uh, yeah, also, it doesn't matter if Forge is down or not. Like, I don't even know why it tells you. Like, Forge is down, but you can't do anything about it, so... What the hell? Right. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, that whole... Alpha base doesn't have time to respond bullshit is, like, hilarious. But well, then again, we get Grizzly, so can't complain too much about that, right? Anyway, I love those graphics and the sound effects. God, they did sound so well in this game. Oh, God, I love that sound. And the graphics. Oh, a super huge explosion for each, each round. Insane. And notice I'm only using one Grizzly, not the one with no health because I needed to live for a combat bonus. But he was wet. Damn, I just noticed um, how it uses two canisters instead of one. That's insane. Jeez. That's why it does so much damage. I wonder if each barrel is more powerful than one of the scorpion's barrels, too. You know, I mean, is one shot from the grizzly more powerful than one shot from a scorpion? You know, who knows? Alright, now is the time where I would uh, requisition the other scorp or the other uh, grizzly to this location to aid in killing those hunters, which is what's preventing all of them from coming out and you know, doing shit. Yeah, now, now I'm gonna attack those elites there. Oh, yeah, now it works. Like, when they attacked it at first, it didn't? Like, ugh. Whatever. Okay, so first, get Anders to repair one of those Grizzlies and watch it. In fact, yeah, I mean... Yeah, see, it, it can't move. Those other ASCs are blocking it. There has to be something to fix that, you guys. Like... You, you've got to do something. You have to make, like, maybe one type of unit's ghost another for, like, that time of them needing to get past them or something. But anyways, so this did not happen before at all. Um, the leftmost entrance was totally blocked. Nobody came out of there. I don't know. Some of those uh, explosives had to have blown or some weird thing because usually that does not happen. Like, at all, so... I have no idea what's going on there. And I lose just about all my ODSTs because of being flanked and all that bullshit. Oh my god, look at it, it's almost... They're almost all dead right now, already. That's horrible. Like, Jesus. Oh yeah, I also could have... Um... Gotten Anders to that control panel earlier. But, um, all those Grizzlies do need to be healed. And, oof, yeah. 
Damn, that, that's just so bad, you guys. It's so bad because, I mean, while hunters do come out of there, I mean, they are they are coming out of there. It's not worth it. Yeah, like it. That's horrible. You shouldn't have to pay that price because in all the other playthroughs, I didn't have to pay that price, and it worked out really well. In fact, I might just go ahead and, as part of this guide, do this again, just so I can show what it's like with really a normal playthrough. I mean, this is just about the worst case scenario that can happen. But um, yeah. Oh, also. It is such bullshit, you guys, that those hunters reflect the canisters. They outright reflect them, and if that's not, like, supposed to happen, that's just absolute bullshit. But if it is, well, it should really be removed, because, like, what the fuck feature is that? Like, you shoot those canisters at them, they're airburst. They should be able to just airburst behind them. <laughs> like, what the hell? That's such bullshit. It just prevents so much, you know, shit from happening, like... When you usually wood canister does no damage, it's reflected sometimes. Oh, see, see, like then. Didn't do anything. Nothing. Fuck that shit. Oh my god. Whatever. See, all the units I have Anders, Forge, two Grizzlies. Oh yeah, yeah, get that Grizzly over there. Because, oh, oh yeah, and it just, it just doesn't do it after a while. It just tries and it just gives up. It's like, oh, nope, nope, I can't, I can't do that anymore. I'm done. It just doesn't even try anymore after a certain point. And yeah, I know Forge is low on health, but I can't heal and repair here, so not much you can do about that other than just making sure he doesn't get low health in the first place, in which, you know, using Grizzlies to offset the uh, DPS that Forge would have provided, which uh, isn't that hard. Oh yeah, right. So, yeah, yeah, see, look, they're, they're just like, skirting it. They're just like, hmm, should I? They're just like testing the waters like, oh, I'm just gonna drop these bombs here and just like go back like the grunt I am. But, um, nah, it's just such bullshit. Like, why can't they just come out to the bridge? Like, why can't they just make their way to us, the objective that they're trying to kill, and just fucking try it? Why can't they do that? I, I don't understand. But whatever. Oh, by the way, also do not do it when any of your units are on that bridge because, well, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what would happen and you don't need to do that. Oh, yep, there they are. There they are. They're on. And see, again, it's just fishing. You guys you just gotta fish them. Just gotta fish them over. And, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Now, for some miracle, A, the Grizzlies didn't kill all the ones who were on the bridge, and B, I could actually fucking activate the goddamn bridge. I have no idea why the bridge didn't activate the first time that I activated it. Like, what the fuck's up with that? I have no idea. Anyways, one of the other minor control issues in this game that makes it considerably more annoying than if it didn't have those issues. But hey, you know, just hoping for a fix in Halo Wars 2. Can't do much else than that. We're ready. Move in out. God, I hope Halo Wars 2 doesn't run off fucking cloud bullshit. Gosh, you're running off the individual Xboxes, why don't you? I mean, you market your product as being one of the most powerful. You think you'd be able to run a fucking game off it, God forbid. Anyways, alright, so. Um. Yep, they need to make a run for the exit. Make that run now. Uh, yeah, Forge is down. That's that's some shit because you can't heal him and um, get him up faster. So you're just gonna have to leave him there until his HP bar rises enough. And I believe uh, being closer to him facilitates that. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, you know, again having Anders heal the uh, damaged Grizzlies that helps a lot. And yeah, all these hunters just keep pouring out, and that's really how you can get that 45 hunters just that quick. Oh, by the way, Anders is just not, that should not be what it is. Get way back there, Anders. Anyways. So now Forge is back up, and I should be uh, reviving him right now. Oh, yep, wait a second. Nope. Yeah, I should have totally revived him now. So, I can... 
get to the LZ faster, but apparently I'm not because there's a wall of enemies right there. I know I could just go to the right, but I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm just trying to block them in or some shit. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, see how fast that takes to kill those uh, punters, and wow. Jeez, that is why my time bonus is just through the floor. Jeez, yeah, I could totally redo this and it'd be way faster. So, yep, just wasted uh, time bonus that's regrettable, for sure. But hey, again, a testament to what you can do wrong and still get gold. So, almost dead. In fact, wait. Nah. Nah, it almost dies. It's just black health, but it somehow lives. And some lag there. And that's it, you guys. All done. That wasn't so bad, was it? But, uh, yeah, I mean... That first part is the hardest. And once you get past that, uh, everything else is a cakewalk compared to it. So here is the proof, 45,888. Uh, again, just barely, but with those optimizations I mentioned, a uh, better time bonus, um, that thing that happened with the uh, other door of enemies coming through, shouldn't be a problem to get a few thousand above that. All right, you guys, well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next guide.